In this video, I'm going to solve the quadratic equation using factoring. And I'm going to use the box method to do this. So I'm going to create my box right here. But before I do anything else, the first thing you always should do is uh, check if there is a greatest common factor in the trinomial that you could factor out. Meaning, is there a number that I could divide into uh, 3x squared? or negative 18x or negative 48 or actually it needs to divide into all of them um, in this case actually you could divide 3 into all three of these terms so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'm gonna put the 3 out in front and then 3 divided by 3 is going to be uh, just that x squared left over negative 18x divided by 3 is going to be a negative 6x and then negative 48 divided by 3 is going to be just a negative 16. That will all still equal zero. Now I could get into my box method. So uh, what I'm gonna do first is put my ax squared term in this top left hand corner. And that ax squared term is gonna be just an x squared. And if you're wondering what's that ax squared term, it refers to the standard form of a quadratic equation. And that's written right here. Um, in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to put my constant, which is just my c, that's going to be negative 16. Then I take this term here and multiply by this term here, and it's going to go down to the bottom right, which is negative 16x squared. Now I have to think of two factors of negative 16x squared that also add up to be a negative 6x. I like to set up a factoring table here to my right side to be able to do that. And it's not really necessary, it just kind of helps organize your thoughts a little bit. So it's just what I like to do. Um, so uh, my factors of negative 16x squared will be a 1x times uh, a 16x. Uh, then I'll have 2x times an 8x. And then a 4x times a 4x. Now, because this is a negative 16, one of these two terms has to be negative. And because they have to add up to be a negative 6 here, I'm going to make my bigger number negative. So that ensures when I add these two terms together that I'm going to get a negative answer. So uh, the 1x uh, minus 16x is going to be negative 15x, which is not negative 6x, so i got to keep going. Uh, I'm sorry, 2x minus 8x is going to be negative 6x, which is exactly what we need so I take these two terms now and I'm going to plug them into my two remaining boxes. And it doesn't matter which two boxes I put in here. Uh, I could put the negative 8x up here and then the 2x down here. My next step is going to um, take out the GCF or the greatest common factor uh, between these two terms in a row. So what number, if any, divides into negative 8x and negative 16x here. And the highest factor would be a negative 8. And I do negative because this number right here, this term, is negative. So you always want to take the sign of the term that's kind of out here towards the side. Um, now I want to take the GCF between these two terms, which is just going to be an x. I'm going to do the GCF between these two terms, x squared and negative 8x. Uh, that's going to be just an x. And then the GCF between these two terms is going to be just a 2. And those are all my factors. So here, x minus 8 will be my first factor. And then x plus 2 is going to be my second factor. It's still set equal to 0. And now if I set x minus 8 equal to 0 and x plus 2 equal to 0, I could solve. So by using the zero product property, I could figure out what my x is here, and that will be one of my solutions. So you just have to add uh, 8 to both sides, so that goes away. It means I'm left with an x equaling 8. So that's going to be one solution. Uh, and then I do the same thing over here. I want to solve. So I subtract 2 from both sides. These 2's go away. And I'm left with my other answer of negative 2.